Uh, welcome to another tip on how to work from home more productively and stay sane and stay, stay happy. And I'm going to start by telling you something obvious. When you didn't have to work from home, the beginning of your day had a structure that was largely outside your control. You had to do things in a certain frame of time, you had to grab breakfast, have to grab a shower and be out the door, you had to hit traffic, you had to get to work. And when you got to work, the structure of the workplace itself, the rhythm and pace of the people around you generated the um, format that uh, dictated the beginning of your day. And now suddenly all that is gone. You find yourself with a void to fill. And this is the wrong way to actually think about it. What you should be thinking is that this is an opportunity to create a similar structure for yourself which best reflects you. It reflects how you want to feel and what you want to do. And to give you an example, uh, when I work from home, my day starts always with a cup of coffee in the news, um, then I do some exercise, then hit a shower, and by then my brain is already in a state uh, of mind which allows me to be really productive the moment I get in front of my computer or laptop. And that's what works for me personally. I've sort of uh, got it down to a fine uh, sort of routine over the years. And the day always starts that way. So then I know what to expect. I don't have to think about it too much. And uh, I start the day in a really positive frame of, of mind because of that. And that's the key that you're looking for. Whatever you put in place has to allow you to actually feel good about yourself and feel happy, even if the news and data that you actually get to consume, if you do that, is not so good. Okay, I hope, guys, this helps. Keep it together. Stay safe.